Hey, attention crypto gossipators, things are about to get interesting. Remember, not financial advice. Hey guys, what is up? Hope everyone is doing well. Hope everyone's having an amazing day because I am as usual. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So it's been a while since I covered Bone, but hey guys, you know, Bone is definitely the favorite one of many, especially mine. And I see so much potential in Bone. And I'm going to have to raise a very important point that is going to really get you thinking and realizing just how crazy uh, Bone's potential is. So as we all know, it, Bone right now is extremely undervalued in red territory those that are loading up on their bags well good for them those that still haven't loaded up on their bag don't know what you're waiting for but hey you might miss the train because we are approaching the out season very soon and this is a bargain for a gas token for a token that you know has so much potential in terms of demand we're talking a binance listing on the way we're talking um, ShiverSwap 2.0, L3 projects, um, venture capital, so on, you know, just so much going on, a very active ecosystem and so on. So all that is obviously gonna push the price up. But the question is, like when the price starts going up, can it really, really go up? Can it go up big time? In my opinion, yes. The moment bone goes parabolic, the moment bone really starts going up, it's gonna, receive the craziest FOMO you're ever gonna even imagine. Why is that? Because Bones' older sibling, Bones or Bones' father, you can say, you know, Shiba Inu, is a very, very strong backing. Now, Shiba Inu has more than 1.3 million holders, okay? Um, a lot of these holders are in there because, yeah, Shiba Inu is the second biggest meme out there. Um, it's on the charts, everybody knows about it, but a lot of them don't even know about Bone, right? They don't really look that far into the ecosystem, they just look at the charts, they see what has done well in 2021, and that's it, right? Now, as we start approaching the out season, we're probably gonna see some nice parabolic runs. And when they start realizing that Bone can run way further than SHIB, because SHIB's market cap is massive, so it can't really run that that much. It's safer for sure, but can't run that much. Um, then you're gonna have Leash running as well, but most importantly, Bone, because it's extremely undervalued. So of course, when it starts running hard, this is gonna be mentioned to the army, right? And you know, accounts like this, SHIB's official account with 3.8 million followers, is going to mention Bone. It's gonna mention Shibarium. It's gonna start talking about it, right? Like we see it over here. Um, and guess what? A lot of these holders, they're gonna be checking the social media and they're gonna be like, whoa, what is this thing, Bone? Okay, it's connected to Shiba Inu. You know, it's the gas token on Shibarium, the layer two solution that's built on top of the layer one ETH. And people are gonna be like going crazy. Wow, this makes sense. This thing can actually blow up in price. Right, and that's where we're gonna see some crazy FOMO for Bone. Once you know everybody starts talking about Bone, once these massive accounts start exploding and moving it to that army, right, the ship army that doesn't really, um, you know, have such a big interest until they see some price movements. Because look at this: the pinned post with 1.2 million uh, views. It says how to bridge bone from Ethereum mainnet to Shibarium. Quick, simple guide. So already bones recognition, bones name is out there. And once we get more and more of this exposure for bone, you're gonna see not only, you know, all the people around the world, the, the cryptos and so on, but just in general, our family, the ship army that needs to go into bone. That's it, it's simple as that. And then it's gonna seem very, very easy for bone to just carry on growing in price because Bone supply isn't that high. For a gas token, in my opinion, not that high. A lot of this um, gas, right? Um, well, not gas, sorry. The, the token is going to be removed from supply. Demand starts gonna, uh, is going to start growing. And then we're just going to hit the basic principles of economics. High demand, 
A low supply equals a high price. So for those of you that have been holding bone for quite a bit of time, you know, seeing all these reds, going through all the FUD, you're all gonna be rewarded. Because at the end of the day, don't forget, a lot of these devs are getting paid in bone. See, so they're gonna make it count, they're gonna be paid, and they're gonna make the most out of it. They're very well connected. When you have these massive accounts, when you have, you know, the, the lead developer of the SHIB ecosystem, uh, Kusama with like a million followers on Twitter, these are very, very influential, powerful people. They can pull a few strings, they can get a few listings done, um, they can get money raised, and this is going to explode. Guys, can't wait for it. I cannot wait for it. And right now you're seeing all these central exchanges. We're gonna get more exchanges listing bone. And when the big boy comes, Binance, guys, expect anything, anything, because the type of demand it's gonna receive is going to be crazy. So as I've said, you know, it's very nice that they have, uh, that we're in a gas token that has a massive army um, next to it, right? The, this 1.3 or maybe even 1.4 million as of now, um, are ready to start discovering a bone and loading up on bone. And as I've said many, many times, guys, to take it out of the circulating supply is, is very simple, okay? Because as more and more activity comes in, as more volume starts jumping in, as more talk about bone, more hashtagging, more influencers jumping in, all is going to contribute to a multiplication of your a bone bag for sure. So let's see what the future holds, but it is going to be very exciting. I've put a lot of points together. I know it can be a little bit difficult to process so many different points, but hey, you know, when you have something so great with so many things that still need to happen, it's very, very normal, okay? I just have a ton of things to say about it. But yeah, as of now, um, make sure that you like, share, engage, subscribe, turn that notifications bell on. And as usual, guys, a big thank you to everyone. I appreciate all the support and I'll see you next week. Peace out.